Hi there, this is Chuck from rawfooddietnow.com and just by chance I happened to get a number of soaking projects, soaking and sprouting projects actually, going this weekend and thought I'd share with you a little bit about what I'm doing. Now the first and one of the most critical parts of any soaking or sprouting project is fresh clean water. What are you going to soak the things in? And I have a filter pitcher here. I always use filtered water for my soaking because the cleanliness of the water is, of course, very important. So one of the things I did is lentils, which I actually started yesterday because I'm going to use them tonight for dinner. And all I did was I put dry lentils in there with the water and let them soak for about 24 hours. And it's important to use plenty of water when you're soaking because things that you soak uh, have a tendency to eat up a lot of water and grow very large. <clears throat> now at the same time yesterday, I also started this sprouting project. And these are black-eyed peas. I've already soaked them. I had them soak overnight and uh, soak them overnight and then rinse them in the morning and stuck them in some paper towels and I also rinse them again over lunch and you should rinse them about three times a day so I just do that at, at every meal just gonna rinse them one more time and it'll take them about three days to fully sprout and then I will be able to use them over here, I got some almonds I started soaking earlier today. These I'm going to let soak for about 12 hours, and then I'm going to use them for almond milk. And I've tried both ways of making almond milk with and without soaking the almonds, and I tend to like it better if the almonds are soaked beforehand. So I just soak them for 12 hours before I make the almond milk. And it's really easy to make the almond milk, actually. You just use, uh, for every one part of soaked almonds, you use three parts of water, stick it in the blender, and there you go. And some people like to filter out the, the little bits of almonds that are in there through a cheesecloth or something of that nature, but I, I just leave them in there because they don't bother me. Another soaking thing I have going on here is wheat. And I'm just soaking some wheat berries in here because I'm going to use them to make muesli in the morning. And here are my little wheat berries. Kind of hard to see, but there they are. And I should be able to just leave them overnight and make a nice muesli in the morning. Now sometimes, well, you can soak them in apple juice if you like. That will make them a bit sweeter, uh, but I don't have a juicer, so I'm just using water. Another option I might want to try next time is to soak them in some almond milk, but I didn't do that this time. We'll just try it with the water. Next time, maybe I'll try almond milk, and if I did that, I'd probably want to soak them in the refrigerator just so the almond milk didn't spoil. Last but not least, I have here some rice, and this rice is just normal rice, and I'm just going to let it soak for about 24 hours so it gets nice and soft. And I will be using those for some meal in some number of days. I don't know, I had it, I had it all planned out and it makes sense. <clears throat> and that's my soaking and sprouting project for this weekend. Now if you haven't done so already, be sure to go to my website rawfooddietnow.com and enter in your email address in the little box in the upper right hand corner right over here. Enter your email address and that way you can get all kinds of nifty recipes and other interesting things that I only send out through the email. So I hope this has been useful and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.